How does inbreeding affect humans? All the things the Whitaker family does to growl and bark at people the Whitaker family, also known as America's most inbred family, lives in the town of Odd, West Virginia, and photographer Mark Leiter described them for his 2008 book Created Equal. He became internationally known for his photographs. The family came back into the spotlight in 2020 when Mark visited them to film a documentary detailing the horrors of inbreeding and the squalid conditions of the surviving family members. The video quickly went viral, earning him over 25 million views. Mark also talked about the Whitaker family on the Concrete podcast. Inbreeding is thought to be partly responsible for undiagnosed developmental problems in families. Among the members, Ray and his cousin Timmy communicate with quiet moans, but Ray's brother Lorraine is unable to speak. Interviews noted that inbreeding was widespread in this region of the United States. The effects of inbreeding in humans include heart disease, blindness, and limb deformities. Children born from inbreeding have an increased risk of recessive genetic disorders. Outbred offspring also suffer from heart disease, poor lung function, and decreased cognitive impairment. It also makes you more susceptible to other diseases. The most common physical signs of inbreeding in humans are decreased height, cognitive ability, and muscle function. Research has confirmed that inbreeding can lead to an increase in a variety of genetic diseases, including, b. Deafness, blindness, limb deformities, reproductive organ development disorders, neonatal diabetes, schizophrenia, speech disorders, facial asymmetry, etc. Inbreeding also leads to decreased fertility, fertility, and immune function. Inbreeding in the Whitaker family began with marriages between cousins. It also increases child mortality. Mark Leiter's 2020 documentary reveals details about this inbred family's lineage. Currently, the family consists of her three siblings named Timmy, Ray, and Lorraine. According to reports, there are other members of the family that Mark was unable to meet. Early reports about the family stated that the siblings' parents were siblings, but the Mark family later confirmed that the parents were double cousins and second cousins. According to reports, the parents of the inbred siblings were first cousins born to twin brothers. John and Henry's twin children, Gracie and John, were cousins, but they decided to marry and eventually had 15 children. The surviving siblings suffer from certain undiagnosed mental disorders as well as physical deformities. Some of them died as infants, others at a young age. Mark Leiter's experience with his family Mark claimed that the family lived in a vulnerable state and that their neighbors were incredibly protective of them. The photographer himself was threatened with a shotgun by a neighbor during his first visit, as they communicated mainly through moans and howls. Mark spoke about his neighbors on the Concrete podcast and said, they are somehow protected by their neighbors. But their relatives don't like them coming to make fun of them. Mark went on to say that he recalled the first time he met members of the Whitaker family and some of the hectic scenes he witnessed. People are walking around, but their eyes are looking in different directions and they're barking at us. He added that the situation was out of control and was the craziest situation he had ever seen. Mark Rita started a GoFundMe fundraising campaign in 2022 to help improve the Whitaker family's living conditions. Since then, the fundraiser has raised $46,433. The photographer also regularly explores rarely seen parts of Appalachia on his podcast. White Underbelly, which specializes in interviews and portraits of the human condition for his 4.56 million YouTube subscribers. He also added a follow-up video about the Whitaker family to the podcast. It is recorded.